Hello techies, welcome back to the channel. My name is Krishna and I share IT and professional content on this channel. I am overwhelmed with all the response that you are giving on the other videos and on my LinkedIn post. So please follow me on LinkedIn. I get videos every Thursday at 7 pm. So stay tuned. In this video, I will share roadmap part 2 where uh, please look into the i button where I've shared part 1 with all the details and in this video we'll cover all the testing practices that is very important for any interview for any testing interview that you uh, appear for. So let's get started. So let's go to the screen and let's see what all topics we need to cover. Uh, so as to uh, prepare for ETL testing and big data testing. In the part one, I have covered all the main topics that is important. Please read, uh, please watch that video in the i button and also read the comment uh, that I have posted the article on LinkedIn. So please uh, refer that article and also keep that uh, for future reference part one uh, and also for part two, I am also releasing the article. Please keep that for reference because as you prepare, you will see that this milestone is completed so please track that and keep it for your reference and if you have not seen first go and watch the part one video and then come to the part two video or else you will not be able to relate to these topics please take notes please sit with pen and paper and make notes wherever required and also i will anyway have the article uploaded but still please make your own notes because that will be of higher use in your uh, journey towards big data testing as i already told please refer the article part one article and part two article for future reference please keep it handy both uh, the video uh, part one and part two video are there in the link uh, description and part one and part two uh, linkedin article is also there in the description so let's move on in this video i'll cover testing practices so the first point is sdlc you should know what is software development life cycle as I previously asked the full form, only few of you commented. So please watch our question which I ask, please comment. So the first one is SDLC, Software Development Life Cycle. So there are two types, sequential model and uh, iterative model. Okay, so these two models are there. So please cover at least one or two uh, main models. So in sequential model, you can cover waterfall or view model. You have to know and for your understanding, you should go through basically these models obviously the, you will you may not work in these models but you will and also after you cover so iterative model agile model is very important so learn this model mostly you all will be working in agile model so you should know about agile model thoroughly and sequential model you should know only for the um, purpose of answering in the interview and the next you should know the advantages and disadvantages of these two different type of models because this is a short short question in the interview next learn about the details of agile model go in detail in depth what are the different phases in detail okay this is what is uh, recommended go in detail so that you can answer any phase if they are interested because the interviewer may go a little deeper so they may ask so you should know about all the phases that is there they may call it a ceremonies so all these jargons also I'll keep coming up, keep giving you uh, details on what all jargons they may use during the interview. You should be more or less aware about it. If not, uh, no, politely ask saying that, sir, uh, I didn't understand. Can you please uh, reiterate and, um, and for sure don't use sir or ma'am in an interview. Please call them by name. Okay. This is any uh, extra advice during the interview. Next. Uh, uh, this will be a very important question okay learn about the different roles that is there in agile model okay comment agile if you want me to make another video on particularly on agile model okay let's go to the next learn scrum framework i will put a picture in the article uh, in the LinkedIn article on what uh, Scrum Fair framework uh, looks like. So if you are interested, please comment. Okay, uh, Scrum framework, I will come up with another video on that. Please like the video and comment. I will make amazing videos and different questions. Uh, what all questions will be asked in this agile model Scrum framework. So I'll come up with more videos 
please like and comment i know i am giving you lot of activity in the course of the video but this is what makes me interactive because this recording is only a one way conversation but when you comment and give uh, you know hit the like button and comment and in my linkedin post you comment and uh, so all these makes the uh, makes um, uh, our interaction uh, more productive so that way i get to know what all you are interested in and that is how i can uh, produce a better uh, content for you all so that you progress in it sdlc since now you all are very much interested in testing and that is why you have subscribed my channel and that is why you all are interested to learn so that is why you should know about software testing life cycle sdlc in detail in depth all the different phases that is there uh, since you are giving interviews as tester you should know about stlc okay comment stlc if you want to know more a bit uh, you want to have a separate video on stlc me covering stlc and how i answer if this question is asked to me and the different questions that will be asked with regards to stlc please comment stlc and one more very important those who are uh, not into testing practices and those who are from a non it background and those who are freshers trying to apply as testing uh, in test engineers or qa engineers so please refer these testing documents you may find these testing documents on the internet uh, made some dummy documents if you are interested please comment testing documents i will try to make a video on which all testing documents i have worked on and i will show a snippet of how it looks like what the original document looks like what all different you uh, know uh, terminologies that is used what are the different sub topics topics that is covered in the testing documents the first one is brd please comment the full form of brd second is test plan obviously any test engineer above 4 or 5 years of 6 year experience who are uh, working as module lead or who are working as test lead they are uh, they should have the skill set of creating a test plan so if you are a senior engineer also you will have to work with the uh, leads to create testing documents so please go through these documents and test report and test summary and test coverage this is basically uh, of a uh, lead position where they uh, you know design test summary and test coverage and the next part is defect life life cycle this is a short short question in any interview it can be molded and uh, formed reframed into different Uh, ways, but uh, this question is for short DLC. That is defect life cycle, and it is different in different companies. But high level, it will be same. So this is a short short question, and so you have to prepare and black box testing, white box testing, grey box testing. What are these? You should know only basic high level knowledge of it. You should don't have to go in detail. What is black box, white box, and grey box testing? You should know high level because. some questions may be asked different roles in a project i have covered this topic in another video please watch that video i'll put in the i button uh, different roles in uh, a project so i will also come up with another video on different roles on how you have to answer it answer it in an interview different levels of testing very 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 important question so please go through uh, this different levels of testing you should know a good knowledge of all the topics with example with use cases basic knowledge of all of it like unit testing smoke testing sanity testing system testing regression testing uat <laughs> comment the full form of uat in the comment section so then i will get to know that you are uh, listening to the video with firm focus because i am putting a lot of effort to create all these videos see this this is a different recording there is a video and there is a you know presentation so all this i have to edit so please appreciate by uh, at least commenting and liking the video thank you and uh, if you want me to cover uh, make a separate video on the levels of testing please comment level of testing very very important test case template you are going to be test engineers you are going to write test cases so what is a test case template how do you design it and uh, sometimes you will have to create your own test case template if the company doesn't have one if the company has one then you have to use that what all details you need to fill so all that you should know go through at least two or three uh, different test case templates you can google and get i will try to make a separate video uh, and share what all uh, challenges i have faced and how i create what all test scenarios i put it in test cases 
and the requirement traceability matrix you should know about it test strategies what are different test strategies that we use okay as you go progress like seven eight exp uh, years of experience then you have to design test strategies in the test plan you have to write all those details so learn about test strategy and uh, black box testing this should so no high level so basically equivalence class uh, partition then uh, boundary value analysis then decision table testing so these there are some more also please cover that uh, cosmetic testing so any manual tester you should know cosmetic testing so exploratory testing so they, these are different levels of uh, different black box testing so you should have high knowledge of all this thank you for watching till now it was amazing uh, you know uh, interacting with you all and uh, please comment the topics that you would like me to cover separately in separate videos so and uh, I will also be coming up with different videos and with respect to what your uh, you know what your interests are. Uh, since the video is long, so I will not be covering part uh, three that is uh, ETL testing practices, the topics that you should learn for ETL testing, whatever sort of thing. So I will come with a roadmap part three where I will cover that because it the ETL testing part is very important. It will, it will be a very big video where I will uh, go in detail on what all topics you should cover. And some of it maybe high level you have to learn and some of it you have to learn in depth. So uh, please comment uh, ETL testing part 2. So if higher the comments, uh, the faster the video will come. In the course of the video, I have told you to comment a lot of things. So whatever comments gets higher, so I will come up, that video will come faster. And for the articles, please check the video description where I have put uh, the article of roadmap part 1 on all the topics that you have covered and part 2 where you have to cover all the topics. So part 3 also I will make a video and an article where it will be helpful for you. Please keep all these articles for your reference so that you can uh, set your milestone that you have covered these all topics and that is how you have to keep progressing. And also I am getting a lot of requests for guidance and lot of requests with doubts and um, you know uh, to connect with them and interact with them. I know I have limited time so I need to work also. Uh, I need to uh, take care of uh, you know uh, YouTube also to get more content because I tried personally helping many people but then I could only reach some of some people where you know uh, one or two people because uh, my relatives or my friends and my friend's friend so there is a, a constraint that I can reach to so but online when I come up with videos I interact with a lot of people you know many people are watching my videos so that way I am very happy that I I am being an iota or I am being a part of their success. So it is not that I get a lot of subscribers and I become successful. But my success actually depends on you. Because if you are getting knowledge from my videos and you progress in life and do something for your parents, make your parents proud and you know, make your relatives proud, make yourself proud. So that will be actually my success because my I have not come to, come to YouTube for getting name and fame. I have come mostly on YouTube because I saw the requirement where people are getting uh, something worth from me. So there I thought let me go online and if somebody is coming for uh, guidance like uh, my mutual friends, uh, my friends or mutual friends. So uh, many non-technical people who are my friends they come to me for guidance. So I guide them. So uh, for certain topics uh, if they want to learn I don't have to sit and teach them. So better I will just refer them please watch these videos if you get out then you can again come back to me. So and uh, for all these reasons I am planning to have a live Q&A session. So if you are interested uh, in the comment section I have made a poll on LinkedIn please go and uh, say yes. If I get a, a good response of more than 70-80% of saying yes I will try to plan a Q&A live session with all of you. And uh, we'll have a Zoom call or a Google Meet call and where I will try to uh, answer all your questions and uh, if needed, if we want to go something personal, then I will try to give some more time and uh, take one on one session. But that will be again the extreme case of it. But mostly I try to take all the Q&A in that particular video. The next video will come at Thursday at 7 p.m. So I release videos on Thursday 7 p.m. Please subscribe to the channel, like and uh, comment on whatever topics you are interested in so also follow me on linkedin instagram facebook and all the social media handles and uh, see you next thursday bye bye